Mike O'Callum and Doug Benson. If you grew up going to school, you probably made these shoebox dioramas. They're a great way for kids to spend quality time making an art project while their teacher waits out a hangover. <laughs> so we're gonna make our comedians do that with our next game, To Live and Diorama in LA. Before today's show, we gave our comedians 10 minutes, a pile of school supplies, and a shoebox, and asked them to make a diorama with this theme. What the internet means to me. <laughs> Our comedians will now present what they've made and I will award points. And I want you to know that I also participated in this. And this is what I made, just to set the bar high. <laughs> and I got all the same materials that they did and I definitely didn't have my assistant do it. <laughs> this is all me. It's, it's all the things on the internet that are participating for our attention. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty deep, right? Yeah. Again, totally mine, not my assistant. I did this myself. That was super postmodern. Thank like, you I so it. much. I totally know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Deanna, you're next. Let's see what you made. Oh, yeah. OK, so here's mine. I'm very, very proud of it. Oh. 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 And okay. tell us, what does the internet mean to you? So this is a bunch of random junk and celebrities yeah. and trash. But occasionally, there's Beyonce. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she kind of, she bounces. Yeah, she's, she's bouncing. Didn't you see that Apologies one joke? Apologies for poking her. <laughs> yeah, you cannot poke Beyonce. No, that was, a, that was very rude of me. <laughs> no. <laughs> what were your inspirations for your diorama? Um, I saw that one Renaissance show in Chicago where she was bouncing a lot, so that helped. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I wasn't wrong. Yeah. You did that on purpose. Yeah. And the trash was from Googling myself. Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Oh, it's not me, it's them. <laughs> did you go to Reddit? You can't your go to Reddit. Your go together nicely. Oh my gosh, thank Look you. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, and we gave you 10 minutes. Yes. How long do you think this took you? Um, I think it took me about three minutes, three minutes. <laughs> but my wife did Beyonce. Thank you, baby. Oh. So nice. <laughs> I was gonna give you 1,000 points, but I'm gonna give you 500 because your wife helped. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it can really like hurt it. you in this game if you're honest. <laughs> True. Yep. All right, Doug, you're up next. What does this the is, internet mean uh, to you? You're not going to believe that I have the ability oh. to do this, but. Oh! But, uh, so this is a, uh, I saw a snowman on the internet, so I put a, I put a snowman, and then, uh, like all dioramas, I had to draw a happy sun in the, in the corner. Yeah. But yeah. these minions, they know what's about to happen to this snowman yeah. because of the hot sun. Oh. Look at them. They're excited. Oh. They're going to sit there and watch him die. <laughs> and then here's the rock is in the corner. Yeah. Oh, OK. And, um, but he's not going to do anything because he's staying out of politics. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm having a hard time deciding if it's more like minimalism or pop art. You oh. know what I mean? Oh. I like yeah, that. I mean, I, I just am so proud of it. That's the, <laughs> that's the thing. Doug, do you have a title for your project? Yes, of course. It's called Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> 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 when I got the assignment, I was like, this is not the kind of thing that I normally do. And I, I, think, I think I really stepped up after a few bowls. <laughs> yeah. OK. And uh, what part of the diorama makes you feel the most shame? <laughs> Well, now that you mentioned all of it, because I didn't make any of this. You didn't make it? I did. No, I, I paid a little girl to make it for me. <laughs> Cost me a couple packs of smokes, but I think it was worth it. Doug, honesty doesn't work here. No. You're right, but she asked me about my shame. All right. I'm going to give Doug 300 points for that. 300 points. 
Emily Echo, let's see yours. What does the internet mean to you? Yeah. Oh. Obviously, I have a, a three-head Hydra, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, with a Godzilla body, of course, <laughs> because they are the rulers of the internet, and they have a, a train car, because they're just destroying society. Oh. Uh, but it's also fun and fluffy, with, like, little memes. <laughs> it's still a good time. <laughs> Is my own research the title of the piece? I mean, it could be. Uh, could be. <laughs> but this is my own research from what I've discovered on the internet. And it oh. is, a, is a scary place with some fun memes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You might be the first person up here who did the whole thing themselves. Yeah. yeah and, and I, you know, I actually did this overnight. Oh, uh, wow. And... Did That's... you or do you just like doing dioramas? <laughs> We all love doing dioramas, but <laughs> I'm a diorama guy. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you hit the deeper meaning of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give Echo a thousand points. <laughs> I thought that was beautifully done. Because you were such good little boys and girls, later we're gonna watch a movie. Say yay! yay! When we come back, we'll be permanently injuring all of our panelists. Stay tuned! <laughs>